What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Bay Me. My name is Aaron and today's gonna be a really chill day. So thanks for tuning in. But first, I wanna thank you guys so much. We are now over 100 subscribers. Woo! Yo, thank you so much for real. I never expected this to even get over 100 subscribers. I just wanted to make these videos for myself and also for a small community of people that just believe that it's time to take a step forward in their life of just not caring about what people think anymore and doing what they love. So thank you guys for sharing that same passion with me and let's just keep the journey going. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. Really appreciate you and welcome to Vami. But like I said, today is gonna to be super chill. Today we are going to be looking at the new film stock photos that I got back from Cinestill 400D. Okay, I'm gonna be looking at the photos on my phone in real time with you guys so that we can just talk about it together. But like I said, I got Cinestill 400D I just started my film photography journey this year, at the beginning of this year, and it's been so fun, and I, honestly, I want to keep it that way. I want to keep it light. I want to keep it fun. I honestly don't want to learn too much. I've been watching a lot of these guys on YouTube that are serious about it, guys that have gotten seriously into it, and it has become a job for them, and they find themselves losing the passion and the fun and they have to end up finding it and honestly I've done that in life in other areas and I don't want that to happen here I want that to be the thing that just stays fresh and open and new and exciting in my mind so that's what film photography is going to continue to be for me so even the way I found my camera my Pentax uh, it's an easy Q zoom something like that you'll see in the b-roll but i found it at an estate sale for five bucks i thought that it wasn't going to work i ended up testing it got some film in it and it worked and so i've been loving it ever since but yeah this new roll cinestill 400d is the first roll of cinestill that i've ever used i actually saw a youtuber using it in like really gloomy lighting gloomy setting and even though it hasn't been gloomy here, I decided to get it and just kind of wake up super early and try to see what colors I could pull in because what I noticed about this film roll is oranges and the blues that were really like drawn into the photo, I just loved. So yeah, I'm gonna show you some of the photos that I caught. A lot of them did not turn out great and that's just like how it goes with film photography but I got a few that are pretty good, I think. So let's get into it. So first of all, at about 6.30 in the morning, I went to my favorite parking lot spot where I record most of my content. You guys will notice this place uh, because of the buildings in the background. It just looks so cool having downtown in the background. So I decided to get a couple of photos of those. And what was actually an accident was there was this orangish reddish truck that was driving by as I was taking the photo. And it ended up being perfect to me. Just that pop of orange in the photo, I really loved. Then like at around 6.37, the sun was like barely peeking over this building that I absolutely love. I call this building the Blueberry Building. You might not really be able to see what I'm seeing <laughs> in this video, in the photo, but every time I drive by it, it just catches my eye because it looks like a blueberry and I can't fully explain it. It's blue. Anyway, I call it the Blueberry Building. The sun was like barely peeking above it and it looks so beautiful. So I had to take a photo of that. And then a few minutes later, actually, right next to it, down this little road, the sun was actually beginning to 
peak above. And so I feel like I caught, I caught the perfect moment right here. I love seeing how this film stock is really like capturing the oranges. I think it just looks really beautiful. And I love how our sky looks here in Tulsa. There's not a lot that I love about Tulsa to be real, but I do love the sunsets and sunrises. So then I went back to my car and where my car was parked was like a perfect, you know, straight road and boom, the sun was right there directly in front of me, rising without any buildings in the way. So I had to run out in the middle of the road for you guys and take a photo of that. And then I decided to go into the heart of the city where all of the buildings are, where I record my city talks, which I love that area so much. And I got a few pretty good photos. A couple of them that you'll see here, at first I thought that they were blurry, and I realized the more and more that I looked at them that it was really just how the sun was hitting the buildings. And so I actually kind of like the way that these turned out. I think the, like, the skyscraper ones, me in the middle of the skyscrapers is okay, it's fine. These next two, especially this one right here, I feel like this one is really good. Like the placement and everything, I feel like it just tells a story. I feel like on the photo that says utility work ahead, my placement could have been a little bit better. I feel like my placement could have been better um, also facing straight ahead on the BOK center tower. But other than that, I think it was fine. You know, it was still really fun to do, running out in the middle of the street, people just watching it, getting to take the photos. I really love this tower one right here. That one really turned out well. I liked my idea here with the clothing one. It's one of the clothing videos that I was making for one of my trip to the thrift videos and video was really cool. I think this photo somehow could have been better. Maybe the angle or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. And then I went home and I remembered the this little bush. I'm actually sitting near it right now in my backyard, but from my front yard, you can see these like vines with these flowers and some bush right next to my house. And I knew I had to take a picture of that because I always drive by and love the colors. And honestly, during this week that I had been filming with this role, the sky during the sunsets and the sunrises had just been looking beautiful. So I took every attempt I could to get a good shot. one night that me and my wife were at a restaurant and we were sitting outside and my wife was like oh my gosh the sky looks so amazing and I was like oh these flowers look really cool and she was like hey you should get an angle where you get the flowers and then you get the sky in the background and I was like all right bet so I took it and it actually turned out really cool to me I don't know why it makes me feel something like really great but my intention was for the flowers to be the main focus and for the sky to be like blurred in the background, but it ended up being the opposite, but it still ended up looking pretty cool. So I like that. I'm trying to really get photos that make me feel things. And that's why it takes me a long time to get through a roll because I won't shoot anything unless I feel an emotion. And so that shot is still pretty cool to me. So on the first Friday of every month here downtown in downtown Tulsa, we have this thing called the art crawl. And it's where all of these people and all of these vendors come and they basically show their art and they're actually able to sell it just right there on the street, a couple of blocks down and a ton of people come out. They come and they look at all the art, they buy art, they go to the bars and everything nearby. And it's a really cool time because it's a time where all of the cool people that actually look cool and wear cool stuff come 
and they're all in the same place at the same time, and you do not know how rare that is for Tulsa. So I might do a video on that too. I might go down there soon and just show you guys what I'm talking about. But, uh, but my wife, she actually is an incredible musician and singer. Her name is Kristani Official on Instagram and TikTok. And you need to just check her out because she's, she's too good. She's too amazing. But she goes out there every month for the art crawl. And she sits on one of the corners and she sings and she plays guitar and she'll leave her case out for money. Well, this particular art crawl, the last one that we had, she was singing and playing for a long time until everyone left. So now it's nighttime, everyone's gone, and there are a few people like in the bars like near her, and so sometimes people would come out, and they would actually watch her, tip her, and then leave. But for most of the time at night, she was just alone. Well, I happened to catch this couple come out of the bar, watch her for a while, and I was actually able to capture this photo of the girl tipping Krista and the guys watching and this moment to me is just like a really cool moment not only is the photo itself really cool because the neon lights the buildings the lamp light pole and everything is encapsulating the subjects perfectly but also the subjects themselves is just like to me a beautiful story not just because they're giving money to my wife but because it's like this moment of this aloneness but then a community is coming in and giving is happening i don't know it just looks really cool and it makes me feel something in a big way and so i really love this photo for that reason it's probably my favorite photo it's not the best one i took but I love it so much. Then later that night, it got me thinking about neon signs, and my wife was like, oh, you need to go to this neon sign down the road. It's Moody's Jewelry. I was like, okay. But I check it out, and it actually looks so cool in person. And actually, when I got there, there was a couple that was already like taking photos of it, so I had to wait for them. But the neon signs were just inspiring me at the moment, so I was hoping that it looked in the picture like how it looked in real life because I could have just stared at it for a while and I think I got a pretty good shot. And last but not least, you guys know about my beginning of my skateboarding journey that just makes me smile and I have so much fun doing it. I'm actually skating literally every single night, just getting comfortable, riding, no tricks or anything, just riding, and I've been having so much fun. And so for my last photo, I had to take a photo of my foot on the board, and it looks pretty cool. Love that. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you like about my film photography style, what you like about the photos, which one's your favorite. And once again, thank you guys so much for subscribing. It means the world to me. If you're new here and you like the video, subscribe, like this video, and share it with someone you know. But there's a lot of good things coming, so I can't wait to show you guys. But until next time, peace out. See you soon.